turn that down a little bit. Well, while we're waiting on people to get in real quick, I might as well start wiping down the car. We got some pretty good events coming up this weekend, so I'm gonna try out this new. Well, I haven't. Well, it's not new, but I haven't used it before. It's a chemical guys, quick detailer, extreme slick polymer detailer. So I'm gonna try it out real quick while we don't everybody else to get in here. Going. Oh, good. How are you? Sorry, you probably, if you're my neighbor, you probably hear my wife's Mustang right now. She's rolling out. She'll be back in a little bit. Run the store real quick. Wow. Stuff works pretty good. Works pretty, pretty good. Oh, man, this wrap has taken a beating. An absolute beating. But it's doing its job. Keeping, no, well, there she is. Keeping the paint protected. What are everybody up to? Let's see. A few times. Let's see if I can get this thing to pop up right now. Uh, live chat, all messages. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Yeah, I had a little situation this summer where this Meller just decided to stop working. A little, a little rough. That stuff actually works pretty, pretty good. I'm impressed. So, once you guys are getting in here, go ahead and uh, let's just about to put that in there. You can go ahead and ask some questions, whatever you guys want to know. Once we get some more people in here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the Q and A stuff. Uh, we'll actually have the Q&A stuff. We'll start with some Z06 news, but I got a I got invited to another Toys for Tots event um, That's going to be on Saturday or Sunday actually today's Friday. Yeah, we're going live um, And yeah, so we get the car ready. It's supposed to rain tomorrow So I figured well, I gotta be out here anyway Why not? Go live because inside my house we have no internet. Our internet service is down, so I had to stream on my phone. And I was like, "Well, that means you're going out to the garage." Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's not done. Don't get me wrong; it's not done. We've been swamped, and uh, yeah, quite honestly, when I'm not working full time or you know getting stuff done here. It's, uh, I really am too tired to get, finish this, so, it is what it is. Now we got this heater in here, we got all this stuff, so it keeps it really hot. I'm actually going to turn this heater down, because I'm starting to sweat already. Um, but, yeah, so, it's getting there. I'll do the other garage update. If you guys are in the live, you're going to see this all before then. Um, but I'll do another update, and I'll show you guys everything else that we did. Still waiting on electrical to get ran. Like I ran it all um, so far, but um, I'm waiting for it to be taken from my garage into the panel of my house. Uh, I ran in all the outlets and everything like that, but waiting on the last few little bit. And if you guys don't know, these lights up here, if you haven't seen that other video, um, those lights are actually the ones that that uh, shop owner, if that's what you want to call him, he destroyed all those lights and smashed them all with a hammer. Well, guess what? I fixed them. Instead of buying new lights, I fixed them all up, wired them back up. We're ready to rock and roll, baby. But, 
now that I'm wiping down this car and I'm on the topic of quick detailers, what's what detailers do you guys use? Now obviously it's not like as good as cleaning a car, but I've tried this stuff this is my first time trying it. Um and then there's also I normally use Meguiar's uh, ceramic quick detailer. It comes in a green bottle. I think we're all out of it. I don't know. We got like 50 bottles of, of products over there. Um, I don't really use that, but yeah. I figured I'd try this thing out and see how it goes. I mean, it, I mean to be honest, it, it leaves a really good shine on it. I'll, I'll give you that. I mean, it, it, it does leave a very good shine on the car. Um, which is cool, and it cleans up, picks up a lot of dirt. I mean, I did this from like my my rocker panel down there. I mean, look at that. I say rocker panel, my little arrow. Let's see what we got in here. I think I saw a question. I'm not sure if I saw it or not. Live chat. There we go. Uh, Toys for Tots with Mike. Oh, I was up there. That was last weekend, I think. Two weekends ago, I was up there doing that. I went to that one, it was a good one. I have a video out about that. Uh, what are you picking, the Stingray Z06 or both? Wow, that's the question of the night, right? And that's the one I figured I was gonna get a lot of. Um, so here's my dilemma. I want both cars. I want the C8 Stingray and I also want the Z06. The part that I'm in right now is GM already came out and said that it is that this the plant being shut down for this week um, is not going to affect the Z06 uh, production to start of 2023, which is cool. But what it does affect is the Stingray production, right? So if they decided like, oh, you know, we're just going to make all the rest of these Stingrays 2023 models or whatever, well, then if my car gets bumped again to a 2023 model your car I'm going to be like blown away because then it's like do I really get a 2023 C8 Stingray and then two months later pick up a Z06 or how you know how it works out or it could be like like I'm listening to two little devils and angels or whatever on my shoulder and like where it's like hey don't take two cars right away let someone else get the allocation whatever um but then again, it's like, well, if I don't take the Stingray, what happens if like the Z06 takes a year or two years to come in? Then I'm out of both. So it makes more sense for me just to get the Stingray, and I think I will. Um, the only problem is like the content. Like you guys have probably all watched every video out there possible on a C8 Stingray. I mean, from launch control to wrapping it to I mean whatever whatever people are gonna do, all the mods, Lamborghini doors, like crazy stuff. So it's really hard for me to like then make new content that you guys haven't seen before with it. But I feel like you guys have probably seen a lot of content elsewhere too, but you still come back to my channel. So I think it might even be worth it. I think I can do some things different. And I think we might even be able to remake those videos and make them interesting still. Do what kind of work you both a Z06 and a Stingray? Well, what kind of work do I do? Let's see. I do general contracting, which on the side, and that is like all this stuff that you see. So house remodels, stuff like that. I do car wraps, um, wraps, detailing, Ceramic coatings, vinyl wraps, I own, I own a shop that does all that. Then I also have a full-time job, and yeah, I work a lot. Yeah, I, I work an absolute ton. Um, so, it sucks because like everybody like on here, like everyone's like, oh my gosh, how does this kid have so much money? But you don't see is the 70 hours a week of working, you know, which is cool though. Because no one really cares about that, and I'm not going to complain about it, but, uh, but yeah, I work, I work an awful lot, and bust my butt 
to get to get the stuff I am. Now, I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna keep the Stingray and get the Z06. I think I would probably trade in the Stingray for the Z06. I see you're always busy. Ever need help? I'd love to learn. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Whoever needs any help or anything or got stuff we need to get done. Yeah, you're more than welcome. We'll fig we'll figure some stuff out. I'll show you a few things. Let's see. Anybody else got any questions in here? I gotta start wiping it down. She gets home and I don't have this car wiped down. By the time she gets home, she's gonna be ticked because she wants me to pull her Mustang in and wipe down her Mustang. So. Because she's going to the event, and the crazy part is, her car gets more people looking at it than mine. It's a stock Mustang with a crazy wrap on it. Not even a crazy wrap, just a different color that no one really sees. And that car gets so much attention, and then this Supra, everyone's like, oh yeah, that's cool, a Supra. Oh, it's a BMW. Come on, man. Line up. Home three times. We'll see what this BMW can do. <laughs> Let's see. All right. I gotta take a moment. I gotta turn this heater down. <sighs> Anybody have any questions for me tonight? Um, we'll talk about the Z06 a little bit. Um. So, this is not official from GM, but what's going around the rumor mill right now is that there are over 30 engine builders, because we all know that GM did announce that the engines, which is the LT6 for the new Z06, they're all going to be hand built, right? So, we know that, and originally it was going to be, uh, originally it was going to be I think this is like 12, 10 or 12 builders. And now they're saying they're over 30. So they're saying with 10 to 12 builders, they get, each builder can do like one motor a day, which I think that's, that's really high. Like to do everything by hand, doing one a day. I mean, that's, I don't know. That's, that seems a little fast for me. I, I don't know, like if I'm building a motor, even if I know how to do it, I'm like gonna be very cautious, right? I mean, this is a very expensive car and a motor that GM's never done before. They've never done a flat plane crank before, so I don't know. But that's a good news. Um, I think it also means good news for the fact that they're gonna offer it as a crate engine because that means they're gonna mass produce it. As in, like they're not waiting till production starts to start making these engines. I think they're making them right now. I think they're probably, they're cranking out the engines right now because they know this amazing, like, out, outreach from people saying they want the Z06. I think they know that, and they're just trying to, like, fill up a warehouse full of these hand-built motors. That way they can just start cranking them out and just go, go, go. But I also don't understand with it is if they're going to be cranking these out, right, the Z06, they said they wanted to reach over 30% of normal Stingray production. That's cool. But they're, built, they're building them in the same manufacturing plant. So, does that mean that they're going to go from, all right, well, instead of building, well, just use 30,000 as an example, right? Instead of building 30,000 Stingrays, are they going to build 20,000 Stingrays and 10,000 Z06s a year? Like, I don't know. I, I just... Because, I mean, they said they're already at, like, their full capacity for building a Stingray. And they're trying to get them built as fast as possible. So, I just, with the Z06, I mean, they might have to build another factory just to get, just for Z06s. Because I think the Stingrays, like, don't get me wrong, Stingray's awesome, and I really do want one. I, w I wish one was sitting here right now. Um, I love the Supra, but, uh. Um, yeah, I love the Supra, but, like, the C8 solo, solo world's heart. And mainly because I want one so bad, I've never had a mid-engine car before. And don't get me wrong, this Supra is awesome. Um, 
if you guys are new, kind of newish to the channel, you know my dream car is a Viper. Uh, that's like my, no one cares about it on YouTube because everybody's like, oh, Vipers, like no one wants them, blah, 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 blah. But that's like my, like, that's my personal car goal. Not a YouTube car, but like that's my, like my dream car. Um, and I call this thing my JD and Viper because the body lines are similar. Except the little little notch in the roof like a Viper. It's uh it's pretty cool. It's obviously not a V10 and uh, not manual, but I call it a little JDM Viper. I guess I should call it the German Viper because it's all German, but it's a pretty cool car. I mean I honestly think I'm probably gonna make a video about this. This car right here is in my opinion the best daily driver car, daily drive daily drivable sports car. You can buy for fifty thousand dollars, like hands down, hands down. I get thirty miles per gallon in this thing, and I'm making over four hundred fifty wheel horsepower. Like you can't, you're not touching that. And this car only weighs three thousand pounds. Like it's a, it's literally a go kart on the for the for the street. It's it's really fun. Let's see what else we got here. I know I saw some. Oh wow! All right, how did I do that? Okay, let's see here. Um, uh, let's see, what's all done to the Supra? This Supra has a Catalyst downpipe and a tune by RK Tunes up in New York State. Um, I drove up there, I was like a five hour drive or whatever, and he did it, Jordan from RK Tunes. Um, I'm actually switching the tune on here from that tune to a uh, Visconti tune, and that's gonna be coming up in a video. Um, I just, I'm waiting on some, a few things to come through. Um, and yeah, I'll be switching that. And the Scotty is going to be through like an Ecutech, which is pretty cool because you can do all the controls like on your phone. So you can like add the. You, so basically, he'll give you a map, right? And the map is going to have boost, like your boost controller on it. So if you want the full however much horsepower for that tune, you turn the boost all the way up. And then you can slide it down, whatever. And you can control the pops and bangs and stuff like that. So you turn it down. Because like this car is awesome, but. The pops sound like gunshots, and there's times where it, that's fun and cool, and there's times where you're like, I'm going to die because I'm driving through a sketchy area, and someone thinks I'm shooting at them, so they're going to start shooting back. So, it's, you know, give or take there. Um, let's see. Can a snowmobile be wrapped, or does the cold affect the wrap? Yeah, it can be wrapped. Um, there, It definitely can be wrapped. There's no reason that it really can't. Um, well, I will say, though, is when it is wrapped, if it's wrapped in like a shop like this, so like right now our shop's set at like 72 degrees or something like that, if it's wrapped inside where it's warmer, the vinyl is will expand easier, right? But when it gets really cold, it's gonna contract a little bit. So like say, for instance, we'll use this body line on this car right here to the hood line. If your vinyl is like flush to that line when it's hot, when you when it gets cold, it's gonna move up maybe maybe like an eighth of an inch. So you just gotta gotta be prepared for that. If you do it or uh, if you're especially if you're doing it yourself and you've never done it before, you gotta keep that in mind. So you want to go a little bit extra on that panel. So when it does shrink up, it kind of it doesn't like leave a seam or whatever there. It it so all covered. Um, that's just something that you learn and no one taught me that I learned it on my own after you know Making that mistake and I was like, oh, okay So then I learned to not do that. I hate tags. Why can't you put tags on microfiber towels? Makes no sense. I hate it. I hate when people do that uh, Let's see what else we got here uh, They will be building You better get wiping. I know I know I know I better get wiping it will be building the new dual clutch for Mitchell Z06 in Windsor, Ontario. Yes, yes, I did see that, and I'm confused. So maybe you know this. Maybe you know it better than me, because I actually haven't like really looked at it that much. Um, adjust this camera a little bit down. Oh, maybe. Um, is that? That's not the same transmission that's going in the Z. It's going in the Stingray, right? It's not the same brand. I can't, I can't really find anything out about it. Well, I actually really haven't looked too much, but nothing was brought to my attention about it. Um, because I, I heard that this Stingray transmission can't hold the torque. So if they're trying to go 670 
horsepower, and I'm, I, I can't remember what the torque was off the top of my head, but that's, that's that clutch is going to be slipping, or it's going to wear out that trans quick, like real quick, because I know right now it's, uh, I know right now the Stingray transmission they're saying at 600 foot-pounds, it, it's shot, the clutches are done, um, 600 foot-pounds of torque, so... Which, I mean, if you're going, like, this car is at probably, like, 455 foot-pounds of torque. I mean, this this thing's a torque monster for what it is. Um, pretty cool. But why does my camera keep moving every time I go to touch the screen? Let's see. Uh, that's sick. Um, it is a different transmission. Do you, is it the same company, though? Is it, because isn't it, uh, Tremec did the Stingray transmissions, I think? I think it was Tremec. Oh, my gosh, I gotta get white. I think it was Tremec that did the transmissions. But I'm not, not 100% sure. Let's see what we got. Stingray trans can't hold it unless you get new clutches. Watch DJ Hunter Millie's videos. Yeah, they do slip out. I have watched their videos. Uh, but then, like, so also the thing is, is, like, the problem with aftermarket stuff, right, is, yes, can it hold the power? Like, so Amelia's new car and the clutches in her car and TJ's both, those clutches that they have can hold some power now, but you lose all the drivability of that car as in, like, it's very clunky. Now, so basically, like, if you ever had a stick shift car, like, for example, Mustangs. I had a buddy who had a... Mustang, he's like, oh, I'm gonna put a stage three clutch in it. We're like, okay, cool, that's awesome. You can handle all this power. Driving that car with a stage three clutch in it is completely different than a stock clutch. And it's like, it, I mean, it, hook, it hits way harder, it bites harder, which is good, so you can handle the power, but it's like, it, it makes the car not as, you know, enjoyable to drive unless you're just beating on it. Which, the cool part about like, like, Let's just say that the best daily drivable fast and fastest car out there right now, well, they're basically the same thing, is an Audi R8 or a Huracan, the twin turbo versions. Because you watch them, they literally drive just like stock until you get into the boost. And like that's, that is the perfect street car, in my opinion. And obviously they're way out of like a lot of people's price range, and all that stuff, but I'm saying if Corvette can somehow be able to compete with that, like the Z06, if it's competing with a Huracan, the platform, like so a base Huracan, it's going to compete with, but if they can get it to where that car can handle the power and they can figure it out, boy, it'd be, it sure would be nice to have an American supercar that is, going to, is truly going to compete with these exotics um because everyone's like oh we got the 4 gt well the 4 gt is like what 400 500 600 thousand dollars or more like it, i mean don't get me wrong some people are going to have them but it's not as common you know uh, man she's gonna kick my butt if i don't have this done she's gonna be home soon too Actually, I'm gonna. I will say I'm actually pretty impressed with this stuff. If you guys haven't tried it, I would try it out. Um, but again, this car is not ceramic coated. Uh, so what I recommend, I recommend the Meguiar's only if your car is ceramic coated because it actually puts a thin layer of ceramic back on the car um, and it makes your ceramic last a little bit longer. So I highly recommend if your car is already ceramic, go with the Meguiar's. It's a little green bottle. Uh, all right, let me let me see what these comments say. I see them popping up here, but I don't know which. It's a different kind of thing. Yeah, CP Race definitely killed it. CP Race is they're on one other level, and you know, it's like so. That guy Alex Toto, right? He's a genius. Like he he is. I mean, if you, if people don't know his story, he basically started out with Hondas, which, I mean, nothing wrong with Hondas, they can be made really fast, but let's just 
look at it in this perspective, right? He started out with Honda, which is a very, very, very um, easily achievable car. We'll put it that way. I mean, they're not they're not two hundred thousand dollars, not fifty thousand dollars, they're not, you know, like that. But he started breaking world records with that, and then took a gamble and figured out the Lamborghini platform, V10 platform on his own. So think about that. That person was able to figure all this stuff out, and they made basically went all the way to the top of the industry. And now they're competing against like Alpha, uh, AMS Performance, uh, Underground Racing, right? But Sheepy had a C8, originally had a, had TJ Hunt's C8, and they weren't able to figure it out. So, like, that, I just want to, like, put that out there to show, like, how hard it is for these people to be able to tune this. And there's a few people that have done it, like LMR, Late Model Racecraft. They figured it out, but I want to reiterate to people, this car is still not being able to be tuned, right? This car is piggyback tuned which what a piggyback tuner does is it's tricking the car's main ecu to read different numbers to then throw more power to the car so it'll throw more air more fuel or cut here and there so it's the piggyback ecu is, going to, is tricking the main ecu that's why you're limiting the power but let's say like your piggyback ecu with all this all your supporting mods you're, you're getting another 200 wheel right once that is able to not be, you cut the piggyback out of it, and you can directly tune that ECU, I guarantee you you're going to, instead of getting 200 wheel horsepower gain, you're going to get another, instead of 200, you'll probably get 300. So get another 100 wheel, just because you can actually tune the car right. Um, and that's the crazy thing about these Supras, this is a 2020, right? So 2020 is the year that can be tuned on a Supra. 21 to 22s cannot be. So everyone... It, like the 21s, 22s are supposed to have like 10 or 15 more horsepower in this. Well, I don't care because that's off of a stock one, not a tuned one. A tuned one that's not touching it. I don't care. I don't care who you are. It's not touching it. And they have piggyback tunes and stuff like that, but they still don't make the power that that an actual ECU tune makes. I have my super badge back on, but. See. Anybody else have any other comments on here? Nothing. I don't. I don't see anything new. Um, yeah. If anybody has any questions, put them in there. Um, and I mean, what do you guys think I should do with my with my C8 and my, this thing right in Z06 situation? Well, everyone's asking me what I what I'm going to do, but I mean, what do you guys think I should do? Like, if you were in my position, what would you do? Um, because it it is. It's a, it's a hard one, right? I mean, obviously, I'm not a millionaire. So, it's not like I can be like, oh, yeah, I'll buy four or five, whatever, and I'll be cool with it. But I don't want to miss out. I don't want to miss out on making content with you guys. And for some reason, you guys don't seem to like the super content as much as the C8 content, even though I do way cooler stuff in my Supra. So, I mean, what do you guys, what do you guys think? Would you rather just see this car gone and a C8 Singray until the Z06 comes? Or would you rather see this car until until the Z06 comes? Yeah. That, that's what I meant to say. Yeah. Hmm. Well, this coloring. Oh, I got a little stainy stain. Get that guy right on out of here. Oh, by the way, I was driving the other day in this thing, and going down the highway, right, and all of a sudden I hear, a, just bang, something smoked the side of my car. I freak out, I pull over, I'm on the highway, I pull over on the side of the road, and I'm like, oh my god, like, what happened? Like, it sounded like I hit a bird or a raccoon or something like that, but it, sounded, it was like, flew into my car, right? So I get out, and... I look back and there's this rock on the road like this big. And I'm like, oh crap. I look at my car. The, the, the vinyl was like scratched a little bit, had like a little discoloring on it. But that was it. I was like, oh my gosh. 
the dives would have hit straight paint, it would have just buckled it. I mean, it would have, it would have really messed it up. But it just ding, went right off that little curb there. I was, I was nervous. Not gonna lie, I was like, oh. Then like checking with a flashlight, looking to see if it dented. No, it didn't. I got lucky. I got real lucky on it, but. That was just paint though, it would have chipped right off. Chipped right off. That's why I love this stuff. And like I said, like I don't, all the stuff that we do here at our shop, I don't do any of it to anyone's car until I've done it on my own. Because I want to make sure that it actually works. Like you'll see shops that will, say a vinyl wrap shop, right? Just say there's a vinyl wrap shop, but they never vinyl wrap their own cars. How can you trust someone that doesn't do on their own stuff? You have a, a shop that, you know, does ceramic coating. Well, I do ceramic coating. My car's not ceramic coated. But this is a wrap. The next car will be ceramic coated. The white car is going to be ceramic coated when we rewrap it, which I'm excited about, and so is she, but uh, I don't know when we're going to have time to do it. Oh, let's see. I think I saw, I think I saw someone answer one of my questions in here. Have you heard any information on when General Motors will be releasing allocations for the Z06? Um, so yes, I have. I have, and it wasn't like an official GM statement. So um, I'm not gonna like, I wouldn't say like, hey, take this to the grave. But I have heard through the rumor mill that they are going to be start receiving their allocations in April. April, March. Yeah, April. So late March, early April for the 2023. That's when they'll start getting their allocations. Now, what I don't understand, maybe you do, because I know you had an early, I think you got an early C8. Um, if the builder's not up, like on the on GM's website, where do you go to see all the specs and stuff? Like the actual, like the final, the final thing. Does your dealership have that all? Because like, I don't know about you guys, but for the C8 Stingray, I go on that Corvette builder probably every other day. I know like every option by heart on that car. And like, I know what I want and what it looks like and all that kind of stuff. So. If they don't do that for the Z06, I mean, how are you going to know really what you truly, truly want? Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm all the way over here. Just trying to wipe this thing down. Get it ready. This towel is dirty. Switches. Uh-oh. Crap. I'm in trouble. Wife's back. Not done the car. Uh-oh. 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 Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Wipe it down, wipe it down, wipe it down. So, any of you guys know that? Any of you guys know how they're going to do that? I honestly don't. I'm going to look it up, if, unless one of you guys can tell me. But... Oh, hey. Okay. Are you watching the live stream in your car? No. Alright, good. Yeah, I love that. Ugh. Huh? Yeah, that stuff does smell smell weird. It smells good. Yeah, but why would a ceramic detailer or a quick detailer smell? Let's see. Anybody hear anything on that? Alright. If anybody has any more questions, go ahead and drop them in here. If not, I'm probably gonna end this live stream. Um, that way I can get this done and yeah, get ready for bed. I'm beat. I'm beat. Look at that. Look at the, look at the old Amish beard no more. The full blown, just American mullet going. Got my hair cut today. No big deal. It was really weird. So I pull up to the barber shop, right? And I'm pulling in the parking lot. And I look over, I can see everybody in the window. They're all like staring. And uh, I was like, oh, I was like, okay. So. I pull in. I wasn't like I wasn't being loud or anything. I just pull in, go park, or whatever. I'm on the phone with the wife, and I was like, "All right, I gotta go, whatever." 
So I go inside, and the guy's like, oh, he's like, hey, hey, how you doing? I'm like, oh, good. And uh, act like, you know, nothing was going on. And I was like, yo, dad bod, come on over to the chair. I'm like, what? He's like, he's like, yeah, he's like, me and my brother, we watch your channel all the time. He's like, how's it going? I'm like, oh, good. I'm like, yeah. And he's starting, like, some people say that when they see the dad bod season 610, like, on the side of, uh, on the side of, like, my car. Like, oh, yeah, I love your channel. But, like, they actually have no idea what I do. Um, but then, like, th this guy who cut my hair, like, he was, like, actually naming, like, stuff that happened in the videos. And I was like, oh, so, like, you actually do watch the channel. That's awesome. Thank you for your support. Which, I, I mean, I, I guess everybody, I thank them for the support. Even if you click on the video and you type in the comments, oh, you suck. I'm like, hey, thanks for clicking. You know, like, like, I don't know if you guys pay attention in the comment section. There's two people that no matter what I post, wh what I post, doesn't matter. They always comment and they're like, hey, I'm, the one guy's like, hey, I'm your biggest fan here. And you still are an idiot and know nothing about anything car related, which <laughs> I think is hilarious. I'm like, dude, good for you. Thank you for watching the video. And the other guy constantly says how I can't afford any of this stuff and I'm an idiot, which I also say. Thank you for watching my video. Oh, uh, we need more water. More water? I need a water jug out here. I drink water like a fish. It's crazy. Oh, she's wiping down my car. Is that what you're saying? I left you here. That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Just, just next time you need to clean your car to go to a car meet, just tell your wife to go ahead and head on outside. And <laughs> start wiping down the car for you. Get the old trusty steed ready to hit the road. Yeah, I'm going to pay for that one. <laughs> I don't know. Do you like this stuff better? What? The green? Uh, I like the Mars? green stuff better. I think. This stuff leaves a good shine on it, but the green the green stuff I think is better. What is this one? The pink one? This is the... Uh, chemical guys? Yeah. Not McGuire's? No, this is the chemical guys one. I don't know where the McGuire's one went. In your car. Oh. Literally in your car. See, that's why I like it so much. I keep it in my car. Is it in my car? Yes. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Always keep it on me. Stay strapped. This stuff. It's called a uh, McGuire's Hybrid Ceramic Detailer. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. I mean, don't get me wrong. This stuff's not bad. It leaves streaks though. This one. The this stuff place. leaves streaks on your car. This one does not. I like this one way better. And it actually like it says extreme water beating action. It actually kind of does. It. I mean, it's not extreme, but it's better than, it's better I mean, than the other one, one. Yeah, this one doesn't have ceramic. That one's not ceramic, though. This one is. Yeah. So I highly recommend if your car ceramic coated, use this one. I'm sweating. No, no, here. I had it on. Oh. But uh, yeah. Any other? Anybody else got any other questions in here? Or are you guys just here watching me ramble on? Because I can keep going, but. I really don't want to. I gotta go to bed. I, look, I feel like I'm gonna look old. Why? Because look at my eyes. I have them like bags under my eyes. I'm already like 24. Because <laughs> you're tired. But I feel like when I'm like 30, I'm gonna look like. Or when I'm like 70, I don't look like that. Uh, What's that little dog from the cartoon? There's, there's no, the sleepy one. He's like a little short, short one. He's like all sleepy, he's like droopy or whatever they call him. He's like, ooh, and his like eyes are like down here. Someone knows. Hey, I guarantee you someone knows what I'm talking you about. like Snow White. No, not Snow White. What? What kind of talk? What? No, not a dwarf. It's a dog. Anybody know what dog I'm talking about? A sleepy dog. Oh. Good to watch your video. Hope you guys have a good Twitch or Tots. Oh, thank you. Thank you for for watching. We appreciate it. Where did you stop? Uh, I kind of been all over. I did. 
from under the hood, the bumper, this side, except for the back. And I did the roof already. Are you going to re-wipe it down with the wires? Uh, maybe I will tomorrow. Anybody else got any questions? Anything they want to ask real quick before I go, uh, before I go off the live? Going once, going twice. I want to keep this entertaining for you guys, but unless you guys really want to watch me wipe down the car, I got nothing else for you, I don't think. Unless, who thinks their C8 can beat the Super in a race? Who lives locally wants to race out? Uh, no, no, it doesn't need, need to be local. Toys for Tots. Who wants to go against someone? If car? someone has a C8 and thinks they can beat this Supra in a race, Droopy is the dog's name. Ha! From what Droopy show? Droopy is the dog's name. From See, thank show? you. Thank you. I was right. If anybody has a C8, though, and they want to race, From what show? look it up on your phone. Look it up. Droopy the dog. That's what I'm going to look like. Um, mm -hmm. if anyone has a C8 and they want to race the Supra, and you truly think the C8's faster, let's run for pink slips. That'll be how I get my C8 faster. Actually, here we go. If I win, we just trade cars. So now you're losing your car. You are losing your car, but you're gaining the Supra. If you win... Well, that's literally the, sh the title of the show. Droopy the dog? Droopy. Yeah, that, that's going to be me. <laughs> if you win, I don't know. You make your make your thing. You can keep the Supra, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I'm out of the Supra. It <laughs> sucks. Let me see. Yeah, that's me. Droopy. Yeah. <laughs> that's going to be me in like 10 years. I'm going to hit 34 and I'm going to be like. <laughs> yep, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Then you're going to leave me, find some young stud or whatever. Eh, what is Some young stallion. Yeah, some young stallion. <laughs> some free spirit. <laughs> Whoa. Heater kicked on. All right. Better make sure it's not a twin turbo C8. I'd still take it on. I'd still go for it. I'll still send it against a twin turbo C8. Because what I'm gonna rely on is that their transmission's gonna slip. Because this car, she just goes. over on private raceways at over 130 miles an hour, mm -hmm. this little thing likes to eat eat up some cars, especially Hellcats. If anybody has a Hellcat and you want to race this thing, this little 450 horsepower car with your 700 plus, hit me up. If you know anyone with a Hellcat in this area that wants to race, hit me up. The only one I, well actually I'll race all of them, but the only one I won't beat for sure is Mod to Fame and his twin turbo Hellcat because he's like 1200 horsepower or something like that. Anybody else? Come catch the old gap sauce. Because I'm walking out of your life in this thing. <laughs> walking out of your life. And if you pull up and you have, you're like, oh, I got a thousand horsepower. I'm just going to run a nitrous line to my air intake. And we'll do a little, little hundred shot. Blow this thing up and I'm not losing, I'll tell you that. Oh, we got a comment. People think in front, in front of the house is a raceway. Fly down your road. Yes, they do. People love flying down my road, and that's why someone hit my house with their car. <laughs> last and, year. And last year they took out my chimney because some moron doesn't know how to drive. Just kidding. He probably wasn't a moron. Apparently, a kid fell asleep or something. I don't know. It was like three o'clock in the morning. We felt we were asleep. I slept through it, even though we hit like right next to my bedroom. I was tired. Actually, that was the night that we got done wrapping this car. We yeah. were up for forty-eight hours straight wrapping this car for forty-eight hours straight. Came home, fell asleep, and within like an hour of us falling asleep, someone hit our house. 
fire department was here and all that stuff. We didn't even wake up. They were in our house. And we just yeah, woke up. fire department was in our house in our basement, shutting off our heater and stuff. We never even woke up. We were that tired. Which is kind of scary because you know if the house would have caught on fire, I just would have been dead. But or so we do. Or carbon monoxide poisoning. Because I'm not worried about that. You already sleep. Okay. I mean, you're not gonna feel it. <laughs> This would have woken up. Would have been a crazy dream and then nothing. It would have been a crazy dream for a real long time. <laughs> Probably wouldn't have my C8 in that dream. <laughs> Don't have it in this one. Doing roasted at myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Alright, anybody else got anything else? There's like seven people in here. I got two likes on this video. I've been going by for, for almost an hour, so 45 minutes, and only two people can click that like button. That's rough. It's a little rough. You guys can always like click like just because you hate me. Is that cool? I don't know. I'm going to end this live stream here, I think. I don't think I have anything else for you guys unless you guys have any other questions. Um, yeah, I, I think I need to start like live streaming while I'm doing something else. So Maybe I'll play video games. Look at that. Up to five likes right there. So that's what I'm talking about. Six people in here, five likes. I like that. The, the, your last person that's in here watching this and you didn't like it. Shame wow. Hopefully you feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> because everyone else is showing support and you're letting the whole team down. I'm just kidding. You're probably not even signed into YouTube or something. <laughs> no excuse. You better go. And sign in, create an account on YouTube, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, and go ahead and like this video. Because I know you love me so much. <laughs> um, maybe I'll start like playing Xbox or something. I suck at Xbox. Play uh, what was that one game that you... Shut up. <laughs> I tried playing the new Halo game. No, not Halo. Rocket League? Rocket League. Colossal! <laughs> I suck at Rocket League too, but it's really fun. I will have to give that McGuire detailer a shot. 100% recommend it's it. 100% recommend it. I would. Yeah, I was. I played Rocket League for like a week straight. Really hardcore. Then I started playing with like my family members, so I have my cousins. And they're like really good, and they played that game for like over a year. And then they just started destroying me, and I was like, wow. Why is there water in around over there? It's not. It's the... Back of the tent. Ah! Thought we had to leave. Do you regret getting your deposit from Sioka? No. Nope. I don't regret it for one second. Um, I actually... I don't regret anything about that situation, to be honest. Um, I do, standing out there for seven hours. She does. But <laughs> I don't regret anything because... One, going there... Uh... Going there it and making that video was let me be able to reach out to more people. Yeah. Which was cool. And kinda of made us made this channel grow like pretty quick compared to what we were at. And in all in all reality, like as you can see in that first video, like I really truly wanted it to work out. I really wanted to be there. I was super excited about it. Um and what what happened next, you know, with, with everything that went south, I don't regret it because it gave me the, it put me in the position where I can reach out and help people. And I got to experience some of these horror stories, like with getting these cars firsthand. And I was able just to bring out the honest truth. And I know a lot of people were like, oh, well, people lie on YouTube or they lie for fame or whatever. I mean, as you guys can can probably see I haven't lied about one thing mm -hmm. on here and I've been completely open about it and that's and that's what I that's what I bring to YouTube um because I hate I hate all the you know like half the truth or sugarcoating yeah sugarcoating or beating around the bush like however you want to call it I hate when people leave out stuff so I, I basically said everything um and it put me in a position where I was able to meet a lot of people um, and yeah, I mean, do I regret that it didn't work out? 
Yeah, I wish it would have worked out. I mean, I wish they wouldn't have lied to people right to their faces, and I wish they would have handled it better. Um, but it is what it is. You know, that, that's the that's the world we live in today, sadly, and nothing, nothing we can really do about it. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I did hear, I think you just put in there too, that they are going to be resending out the list um, after the holidays, which is good for them. Um, I hope everyone that's on that list, hopefully you all moved up and who knows, maybe my spot moved up a thousand places and I'm 500. It is what it is. I can honestly say, um, they could, they could probably be selling a C8 right now for 10 grand under sticker and I wouldn't buy it from them. I, they just, they, what they did and how they acted to, towards people, um, just not something I want to support and give my money to. So, uh, and especially like for me, it's one thing, um, but seeing that it didn't, it wasn't just like a me thing, you know, like I didn't want to, I didn't want to say anything and it turned out to be like, oh, I'm just a whiny little crybaby that's talking about all this. Uh, but when I started getting flooded with messages about it and me realizing, okay, I'm not the only person this happened to. That's when I was like, these people really need to, like, something needs to change. Because it's not, they're not just doing this to select people. Like, maybe they didn't, like, maybe they didn't think I could afford the car. Or maybe they, you know, thought I was, thought I was going to flip the car. Or whatever they thought. But then I see that they did this to multiple, like, as in, like, double, triple digits of people. And even thousands of people. Because, I mean, there's 6,000 people on that list. And seeing that all happen, it kind of made me realize, like, why? Like, that's, how else do you put that? Like, the people that are running that, I don't know, I don't know if they weren't ready. I don't know what, um, but hopefully they saw some of what happened and they read some of the, of, of what people are saying about it. Like, you can't, you can't just buy your way into being number one. They bought a dealership that was the number one dealership. And you can't just buy that and expect that that's what you're going to get. Um, you got to keep up the reputation, right? And there's so many people that are saying I would, they would never go back there to buy any, any cars again. And I think it's really going to hurt the reputation. I think what they did, um, I've been reached out and contacted by, we'll just say, people. And... They're doing some more investigating on it. <clears throat> and they didn't appreciate the way that it was all handled. And it's going to be... It's going to be taken another step further. But... <clears throat> um, man, I need more water. Ugh, it's so hot. Oh, um, yeah, I think... I don't know. I'm, I'm upset with the way it is. Because I really wish it would have worked out. And I wish everyone to get their cars and all that stuff. And I wish... You know, obviously, I would have a Z06 in here when they first come out and all that. Like, But you live and you learn, right? So it sucks, but it's a learning experience for me. And it let me get a lot closer with a lot of people on here. Um, and it kind of... The, the, one, the reason I say let me get a lot closer is because you see everyone on YouTube share, Oh, I'm so successful. Everything works for me. I bought this new car cash. I like you see that everywhere. You don't see the struggles with it. So you don't see the people getting screwed over by dealerships on YouTube and then being completely open about it without just being like completely like out of out of control. You know, and I guess people like seeing the out of control thing, but I don't know. I decided the best best way to do it is keep it honest and just tell the truth. And apparently you guys enjoy that too because I get a lot of comments about it and people saying that they keep going and they appreciate me being honest about it, being a good people this their words not mine. People call me a good person. I don't know. I don't think she thinks I'm a good person, but <laughs> No, I, I honestly do think, like, people do, as much as they don't want to admit it, they do appreciate hearing the cold heart truth. 
yeah. about what's going yeah. on. Yeah, they don't like it. No. Like, especially in my last video, if you guys haven't seen it, when I went to on the Corvette forums, those guys did not like it. And I do know that some of them that that were that are on the forums, they watched my video and they were subscribed to my account because as soon as I posted that video, I watched like I lost like five subscribers immediately. And I was like, ah, <laughs> see you guys. I don't know why they were so butthurt. They weren't they weren't in there chiming up and having my back in there when I was trying to tell people what I thought. So that's what it is. It's what it is. Any other questions? Did anybody in here still have their deposit with Sioka, or did everybody in here pull their deposit? <coughs> have you seen the new video on the E-Ray? If so, what do you think? No, uh, I saw a picture of someone said that they saw one. I, I couldn't tell. I saw the, So I saw the picture, and the exhaust looked like a standard Stingray, but then I saw the... Gosh, the, the duct thing, the trim, it looked like, you know, the wishbone. And then that's when I was like, oh, okay, that is a, uh, that is not a stingray. So, yeah. Is there an actual video on it? Let's see. Is there an actual video on that? If you could, send me that link on uh, Instagram. Uh, I do want to watch that. I mean, what do you guys think about that car? I mean, would you want an E-Ray? What? I'm so full of burps. I know. I think it's that, uh, your chicken, or the fish and, fish and rice. rice you made. With. Well, that I made the, I put way too much seasoning on that fish. I know. That's why I barely seasoned the rice. Yeah, it killed me. You know, heartburn <laughs> for days. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the E-Ray, I don't know. If I want a fast electric car, I'm going to get the Tesla Plaid. Like, I... I, I know Ferrari just came out with their new hybrid car where it's half... It's got the gas and electric in it. It's supposed to be like a thousand horsepower. I get it. But I either want all or nothing. I want all motor or all electric. Yeah. I don't want... I don't want in between. Because then, like... Cause then you got to worry about, okay, well, does my car have fuel? Yes. Oh, did I charge my car too? No. So it's. How does that work? Does it do like you just alternate, or does it use both? Uh, it uses so uh, like normally if you're under a certain amount of power, it'll use like electric for like, like low, power low mode? speed stuff. Yeah, like a low power mode kind of deal. It'll use electric, and like it'll kick the motor on. Like it, it's different companies have different ways. Like some of them use. For all-wheel drives, so the front wheels will be electric, the rear wheels will be gas. So, like, when you launch control, it's, like, 30% power and 70% power. And the 30% up front is electric. Ah, it, it's weird. I don't I don't like it. I but. think I've seen where they have, like, a plug for to charge in the back. And like, or to charge in the front. And in the back of the gas tank. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a big fan. I, in my opinion, I think the top of the line C8 Corvette that anyone should want would be the Z06. Even the Zora, if it is, if it does come out to be a twin turbo LT6 motor, the only reason I would say go for that would be if you cannot tune the Z06 by then. Um, and here, here's my reasoning on it. it. Or actually, if you can't tune the Stingray by then, because the Z06 with the going to flat plane crank engine, the main attraction to that motor is that it's in a in the sound that it sounds like like an F1 car, right? Mm -hmm. That's what you want. But the fact if you put turbos on it, you're going to muffle the sound. So if you're planning on twin turboing a Corvette in the C8 platform, you might as well take your money instead of buying the Z06. Take that money, build the motor and trans in a Stingray, if they can be tuned at this point, build a motor and trans there, and then get your power. Because you're already going to be muffling the sound. You might as well just have a built motor, built trans, making more power for less money than if you got a Z06, and then have to do all that. And then you're muffling the sound. Like for me, the Z06, I don't think I'll ever twin turbo that car. 
Um, unless, like, unless someone was like, hey, you can slap these turbos on it and you go from 670 horsepower to 1200 and it's, like, perfect. All right, maybe I will. But, I mean, my plan for the Z06 is get in the car. If it can be tuned, go catless. If not, do high flow cats in a straight pipe. And I'm going to let that thing scream everywhere I go. Just screaming. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be so loud. My neighbors are going to hate me. If you're still watching this neighbor, I'm sorry. Um, but, you know, the other neighbors around here have straight pipe cars and lawn mowers and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so Very straight pipe lawn mowers? No, they do. They got, one of our neighbors is a racing lawn mower. It's awesome. It is so cool. <laughs> so loud, but it is so cool to watch that thing rip. It's wild. Um, but, yeah. I mean, sorry. <laughs> I don't think they'll go mine. I think they will. When I leave for work at like 4 o'clock. I mean, weekends, these neighbors are out racing until... Yeah, but not 4 o'clock in the morning on a weekday. Oh, yeah, weekday might be rough. <sighs> Early alarm clock. Plug your ears? I'm just like... Little, little headphones? <laughs> headphones when you sleep? <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I mean, I think the Z06 is probably going to be the most anybody's really going to want out of the C8 platform. Um, I think it's going to be the best, the best version of it. I, I truly do. I think the the ZR1, it, unless the unless the Stingrays somehow cannot be tuned by then, and the Z06 can't be tuned by then, then the ZR1, yeah, if you're going to go for the most power, but. I think the zero one price tag is gonna be incre like incredible. Like we're just gonna say the Z06 uh, price tag is going to be, you know, substantial. But I guarantee you the ZR1 is probably gonna be two hundred k. Easy. And the markups on it, I can only imagine. I can only imagine what that markup's gonna be. Do you think since the Z06 is officially coming out, they're going to? Well, there, there's already people that have kits for it, but so what I think is going to happen is it's smart by GM, but it also sucks. Um, is they waited to enable the tuners to unlock the ECUs until the Z06 is out? Yeah. Because they want everyone to buy a Z06, and then they want people to be like, "Oh, well, I can tune my Stingray," because they're all like, "I get that." But then again, it's a whole different motor, so there's a counter argument for it because you want the different sound. Uh -huh. Like that's the big point of the Z06 is the sound. Yeah. Like it sounds unlike any other Corvette in the history of Corvettes. Yeah. So, but if you're just going for power, yeah, it would be smarter to get a twenty thousand dollar, twenty thousand dollars less of a car, and throw a twenty thousand dollars twin turbo kit, and be making more power than the Z06. And, like, complete street performance out of PA. They're out of, like, Westchester, PA. They have a twin turbo kit for a C8 Singray that's making 650 wheel horsepower, reliable horsepower, and I think they charge, like, 25 grand or something like that for it. But, I mean, that's more... So, 650 wheel. This The Z06 is not going to be 670 wheel. It's going to be 670 motor, probably 600 wheel. Um, six... 600, 625 ish. So technically, the C8 Stingray is going to have more power than that. So. What's the difference between motor and wheel power? So, your motor horse. So, motor is considered crank horsepower. So, your. Oh, look, I got a beautiful car behind me. I can demonstrate this. Okay. So, motor. Well, on the C8 back here, but. Mm -hmm. Motor, you got your motor, then you got. Your transmission, mm -hmm. then you have the drive shaft that goes back mm -hmm. to the rear, mm -hmm. rear diff, or whatever, and then it goes out to your axles to that. So, you're so you're spinning. All those parts are spinning, right, the whole time. Yeah. You're losing power from the motor. All the thing that's spinning to get everything to spin and all that and get to the back. 
by the time the power gets to the ground, it's traveling so far it loses power. Mm -hmm. So when someone says, I have a 500 horsepower motor car, mm -hmm. they're making 425, 450 wheel. When someone says, I have a 450 wheel horsepower car, they're actually making like 500 in the motor. So like, for example, Dodges, they claim the Hellcat makes 700 horsepower. That's 707 horsepower motor. Dino, they make like 600. So that's to the wheel. So it's, when someone is comparing cars and they're like, hey, well, my car makes 600 horsepower. That's cool because if your car is making 500, if, they're, if you're like, oh, mine makes 560, and they're like, ah, well, I guess, I guess I got you beat. You want to race? Well, if your 560 is 560 wheel and there's a 600 motor, you got you. technically, if you're around the same weight, you're going to walk out of the life. Yeah. Which is the cool part about that. But that's why I just tell people, oh, 450. Yeah. And I think that's 450 motor, which would be like 400 wheel. Like your, for example, your Mustang mm -hmm. says 450 horsepower. So that's 450 motor versus 450 wheel. Which car is faster? Yeah. By how much? You think my car is not, not that much faster? Oh, it is. Right, that's what I mean. But that difference, so when you, when you floor and I floor and I'm next to you, mm -hmm. That's the difference between wheel and motor. Then your Mustang's a slightly heavier, but yeah, that's mainly the difference. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty substantial. Hopefully, you guys can even hear her talk, and she's asking all these questions, and I'm answering them. But uh, anybody else have anything? Uh, I don't know. Oh, was there? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I want to hear it. There is trucks blasting, but yeah, I agree. What about the Zora? What do you think it will have and the price of the Zora? <sighs> so I think the Zora is going to be the ZR1. I think they're just going to keep them together. Um, because, let's see, if they do the... If they do the Stingray, which is the base, they do the Z06... And they do the Z06. They do the E-Ray. I think the E-Ray is going to take place of the Grand Sport. And then they do a ZR1. I think I'll be the Zora. Or, yeah. Z Zora would be a ZR1. That's why I think they're going to do it. If not, I think they might... They might call the E-Ray the Zora. I don't know. Um, but I think, I think, in my opinion, I think the Zora is going to be the ZR1, um, because, I mean, if you look at the history of the mid-engine and Zora and all that stuff, he's the first person that wanted to do the mid-engine, you probably know this, but I'm just letting everybody else know, um, they're going to make this, like, so the top of the line for that first platform, I think they're probably going to call it Zora, to, to pay more tribute to him, um, and kind of be like, hey man, you were right. You know, 40 years ago, whatever, we should have listened to you. Because um, who knows? Like, imagine if the C8 mid-engine platform would have came 40 years earlier. Not like with all the technology, but just the fact that they had mid-engine. Imagine where we'd be now. So, like, that, that would be like the Ferraris when they switched to mid-engine. Okay, look at where they are now. Granted, we're catching them, but we had to go, we had to go through all this stuff. Pretty wild. Pretty wild, and I think I, that's why I think the Zora is going to be considered the ZR1. What are you thinking, price? Price? Base sticker cost, I'm going to say 150 Yeah, I'm going to say 150 for sticker. Like 151.99 for MSRP sticker. Base model, no options. I think if you option it out, you'll see people well into the 200s for a Corvette. Are they going to do a limited release of that? ZR1 is like... I don't even know how many ZR1s they made for the C7s, but it's... So, 
take the 30,000 sing rates, right? They make 30,000 a year. 30% of that, they want to make Z06s. So that's 10,000 Z06s. Mm -hmm. It'll probably be like 10% of Z06s. If that, will be Z01s. So then you're talking like 1,000 Z01s a year. And that's like, that's actually sounds pretty high. It's probably going to be lower than that. Like ZR1s are very hard to get. And that's why I don't, I, I don't know. Like there's no way. The ZR1, they're going to jack the price point so high that not 6,000 people are trying to get a one dealership to us. They're going to try to jack it up so high. But then again, how, what will they resell for? No idea. I mean, I, if people are really going to try to get 200 grand over a sticker for a Z06, I can only imagine what they're going to try to get over a ZR1. Probably around three. Then that, but at that point, you're talking about a $450,000, $500,000 Corvette. Yeah. It's never happened before. No way. 500 grand on buying an Aventador. Yeah. Sorry. It is what it is. Because that Aventador is going to hold value more, in my opinion. Any other questions? I am so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Anybody else got anything? If not, if you guys are in my area, come to the Christiana Mall Sunday morning at 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. is the Toys for Tots Drive, Christiana Mall in Delaware. Um, I will see you guys there if you guys are going. Um, Toys for Tots event, come out, it's a fun time. We're bringing both cars, we're bringing the Supra and the Mustang, and we're bringing some toys, and we'll have a good, good time. Uh, I'd take C7, ZR1 over Lambo, or anything like that. You're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> you are crazy. Woo! You're crazy. Uh, they made approximately 3,000 ZR1s in 2019, only a production for C7 ZR1. Oh, so 3,000. 3,000. So then 30% of a ZR6, basically. Still. Well, considering everything that's been going wrong with Corvette produc production. Yeah, how many are they going to make? I don't think uh, it's going to be 3,000. This one said, oh, uh, yikes. Yeah, yeah. Zero one can is going over two hundred fifty k right now. Well, yeah, gosh. yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I see them listed for that much, but the fact that they are that much doesn't mean that they're worth necessarily that much. Like right now, you're seeing the used car market just explode. <clears throat> I mean, you're seeing like people pay. Way overpriced for these cars. I'm talking like an Aventador, an exotic car tends to hold value for longer periods of time and hold more value because it's such a limited run. It's an exotic. A Corvette, on the other hand, even though they're worth you know the pe every penny, there's so many of them. They're more popular to where they don't hold the value as much. If that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Yeah. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching the live stream. Um, new video will be coming out on Tuesday, right? Tuesday. No. On Tuesday. Tuesday and Thursday. On Tuesday at... Uh, Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And live stream next Friday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. If anybody has anything they want me to talk about in any of the videos or questions for the live stream or anything like that, feel free to DM me on, uh, on Instagram. Same thing as YouTube. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Tell anyone and everyone you know to subscribe. But... That's part of my outro too. So, <coughs> ah, ah. all right, here we go. I forgot what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Cause I do this every time. 
every time. And if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to smash that like button, which is the live stream. Smash that like button. Definitely subscribe. Tell anyone, everyone know, hop on the Dad Bod Season train. Join the Dad Bod Season family. And I will see you guys next time. Dad Bod Season now.